What a better way to relax and explore a little. Take a short weekend trip to Monterey, California and check out the surrounding area. My time was limited and not too much time to plan it, but I went anyways. Being my first time here, I didn't know where to start. But first, I stopped at San Carlos Beach Park, not knowing what to expect there. But I made the stop anyways and came to find out that San Carlos Beach was a popular place for jumping off point for scuba divers. This place is more for walking, bicycling, fishing and diving activities. Also sailing. And it's just another view of part of the Monterey Bay. And you can see in the distance Canary Row and the aquarium. Monterey is a beautiful city along the California coast that sits on the Monterey Bay and it's home to many fun activities. There are so many incredible things to see in Monterey. It's a great coastal stop along Highway 1 for a road trip or a weekend getaway. So whether you're driving up Big Sur or heading to Northern California, Monterey is a great destination year-round for outdoor lovers. I came across some scuba divers who were training and it was fun to watch them go in and out of the water. I guess this is one of the best dive sites in California. San Carlos Beach is situated on the north end of Cannery Row and adjacent to the Fisherman's Wharf area. The beach and coastal areas are very pristine which offer wonderful views of Monterey Bay and the scenic harbor area. There are several benches where you can sit and watch the surf and the wildlife, a great place to watch the sunset. I also walked in Breakwater Marina. They have a scuba diving shop which rents out scuba diving tanks, supplies and offers scuba diving lessons and equipment. Not sure what kind of vessel this was but it was really cool. Further in, there's a restaurant and a boat launch ramp, and the parking lot there is a private lot for marina tenants. You can also rent a kayak or a paddleboard and explore the calm waters of the cove and set sail on a charter boat. So next, I checked out Cannery Row. Cannery Row is the waterfront street bordering the city of Pacific Grove, but officially in the new Monterey section of Monterey, California. It was the site of a number of sardine canning factories back in the 1900s. Here, candied sardines were to be shipped around the world. Once this site was a booming sardine canning industry. Cannery Row fell on hard times after World War II due to overfishing. And then the last cannery closed its doors in 1973. So next, my self-guided walking tour of some of the shops of Cannery Row. Many old cannery buildings have been refurbished as restaurants, galleries, artists, studios and shops. One of my favorite store was the After the Quake, a fun shop with souvenirs and various gift items. I also liked the wooden sculpture located in front of the shop which made a great picture for me to take with. The prices weren't that bad, I was able to get a few gifts for those who are really hard to please back at home. Historic Cannery Row has great hotels, various shops, 25 restaurants and family fun and nightlife activities that make Cannery Row a top tourist destination. Next, I checked out Rock and Roll Donut Shop. Absolutely love this place. I thought I was in heaven for a minute. A great place for a donut right by the aquarium with amazing flavors. Oh, and they are all vegan. So guys, if you have a sweet tooth and love for cakery donuts, then Rock and Roll Donut Bar is a must visit destination in Monterey. In 1958, the city of Monterey officially renamed this street, Ocean View Avenue, to Cannery Row in honor of John Steinbeck. Today, this former sardine fishing hub tops the list of Monterey County's most visited attractions. Cannery Row in Monterey, California is a great place to visit for more than just eating and shopping. 
but you can also visit the Monterey Bay Aquarium, which is located on Cannery Road. The aquarium is home to thousands of marine animals and plants, and it's a great spot for families. When you visit this place, you can expect to find waterfront hotels, local restaurants, and cool specialty shops with unique gifts. If you decide to stay in one of their many waterfront hotels, then you won't do much driving around because it's all centrally located. This is the perfect location within walking distance to the beach, restaurants and shops, and the aquarium, along with several sport bars. So next I checked out this cool place called Treasure Hunt on Cannery Road. They have a one of a kind theme park ride for those thrill seekers. Not much to be sure, says I. Cover the location of Bouchard's Just a few moments to take you down into the caverns. Thank you again for risking a ride. Treasure Hunt, the ride through Cannery Road Caverns. <laughs> If you watch the movie Forrest Gump, then you'll recognize this. The cute Forrest Gump movie theme bench is in front of Bubba's Gump's Shrimp Restaurant. Monterey's Cannery Row is the original location of what became the small chain of casual seafood places. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company was inspired by Tom's Hank 1994 Forrest Gump. The restaurant offers dishes named after characters in the movie like Jenny's Catch and the restaurant's bestseller Forrest Seafood Feast. Guests can play around and signal their waiters with a stop for a stop sign. Next, I took some pictures, then walked around and checked out As Seen on TV Shop. There are several of these type of shops that you can buy little gifts. The surrounding area has several pubs and wine bars, as well as wine markets and bistros to hang out and enjoy an evening. Well, you're probably wondering how many days do I need to visit Monterey. Spending two days in Monterey Bay is ideal because you'll have just the perfect amount of time to see everything and enjoy your time. If you plan to visit the aquarium, set aside three to four hours because there's a lot to see. They have over 200 marine life exhibits there, so plan your time accordingly. More time is always better. But most people touring all of the coast allow for three days on Monterey Peninsula and a visit to Big Sur. So guys, my next stop is a campground nearby Monterey, just a mile from Monterey Bay. So next I'll be checking out Veterans Memorial Park. Veterans Memorial Park is a popular and beautiful 50 acre in the forested hills of Monterey. Located only a mile from downtown Monterey, this park is an affordable and fun way to stay overnight in Monterey Peninsula. Campsites are first come first serve, so there's no reservations needed here. Camping is limited to three consecutive days here. Just be aware that this campground is only intended for short term use of visitors to Monterey. No long-term residency is permitted here, and vehicles or trailers cannot be longer than 21 feet. The park includes hiking trails and bay views, along with a campground, 
and the campground is open year round. The park that's next to the campground has picnic tables, a playground, a nice green lawn area, and a basketball court. They also have storage lockers, and those are for the use of campers only. The park has showers and restrooms. Showers are open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So this campground is great for all types of campers, like RVs, trailers, tents, bikers, and hikers. Campsites for RVs and trailers run at $53 per night. Tent and car camping sites are $47 per night. Hikers and bikers who wish to camp here can do so for $10 per night per person. Any additional vehicles is $13 per night. The campground also has a dump station and they charge $13. If you are a non-camper and want to take a shower, they charge $4. If you are a senior or have a senior pass or active duty or retired military, there is a $5 discount. As a form of payment for your campsite, they only take cash only or local checks, no credit card payment and due upon arrival. You can check in as early as 7 a.m., but you need to check out at 12 noon. Want to bring a pet? Pets are allowed in the campsites, but are not allowed in the hiker or biker sites. Quiet hours for this campground is between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Thinking about using a generator? Then you can use a generator, but must be turned off by 9 p.m. If you're also planning to make a fire, fires are permitted but no fires during fire season. They will post a sign on site when there is a fire restriction. Wi-Fi is available here. Also, cell service is pretty good here. From my opinion, I will say that some of the roads are narrow. Simple campground with decent shower and bathrooms and self-checkout without having to make reservations for those last minute arrivals is pretty good. But on the downsides, there is only three maximum days permitted to camp here. Also, camping fees are a little higher than some campgrounds that offer the same amenities. But if you're looking to visit Monterey for a few days and don't want to pay for a hotel, then this could be a cheaper option. The key to finding a spot is getting there early. That being said, make sure to read all posted signs for self-check-in, as it is do-it-yourself check-in with no office help around. You must put the envelope payment tag on your campsite as soon as you arrive so others know the space is taken and you pay it right away, not hours later. I don't want to discourage anyone, but I also want to mention that you are in the flight path of the Monterey Airport, so you are going to hear jet engines throughout the day and into the night. They are not big planes, but they are 737s flying in and out. Overall, I do recommend this park and campground for one or two nights. Well, there you go guys. If you are planning to visit Monterey on a budget for a few nights, then you might want to consider this campground, which is located very near to great restaurants and attractions, especially if you're going to visit the Monterey Aquarium.